Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to put yourself in a solo public session in GTA 5 Online for next-gen consoles. So I'm first going to show you guys how to do it on Xbox Series X slash S, and then after I'm going to show you guys how to do it on PlayStation 5. So if you guys are a PlayStation player and you guys want to just skip forward to the PlayStation part, feel free to do so. And of course, this solo public session glitch is only going to be working for the next generation version of GTA 5 Online. And if this video does go on to help you out, definitely do me a favor and drop a like on the video. Also consider hitting that subscribe button if you guys aren't subscribed already. I do upload lots of daily GTA 5 Online videos just like this one. But but now let's get straight into the video. All right, so I'm going to start off showing you guys how to do this on Xbox Series X slash S. And the first thing you guys are going to want to do is put yourself in a random public session. Once you guys are in a public session, you can see the one that I'm in right now has 26 people. Once you guys are in it, though, you are going to need a software on either a computer or even a laptop. The name of the software is called Netcut. I'm pretty sure most of you guys already heard about this software because it is used for lots of different glitches in GTA 5 online. And don't worry, it's completely free if you guys don't have it already and it takes like five or 10 seconds to download it. And if you guys have trouble finding this software on the internet, I'm just going to leave a link down below in the description if you guys want to go ahead and download it through that link. Anyway, once you guys have it downloaded, I'm going to switch over to the Netcut software and I'm going to show you guys what you guys need to do. Alright, so once you guys are on the Netcut software, assuming that your laptop or computer is already connected to the same internet that your Xbox is connected to, once you open it, you should see your Xbox connected on the network users. You can see right here, mine is called Xbox and yours should be called Xbox as well. So go over to the Xbox one and you're going to want to click this little controller icon and then click right here where this like timer thing is at. Click right there. Once you click it, it's going to say 15 seconds. Just go ahead and click right here and put it to 10 seconds instead of 15. And then whenever you guys are ready, click over here where it says says freeze incoming as soon as you guys do that you literally are completely done that's all we needed to do on the software basically what this is going to do is make our xbox lag and it's going to put us in a solo public session like i said this entire time you should have been in a public session while you guys are doing this on netcut but now switching back over to my xbox you guys can see here in a second everybody is going to lag out of the session you can see i'm walking around and there it goes now everybody has lagged out of the session and i'm in here completely by myself which i'm going to show you guys here in a second you can see i'm literally in the solo public session completely by myself so it's super simple to do on xbox and you can also do it the exact same way on playstation but on playstation it's a little bit easier i'm gonna show you guys how to do that right here in a second but just keep in mind playstation people if you guys want to do it like this over on playstation feel free to because it does work over there as well Okay, so now I'm on my PlayStation 5 and I'm going to show you guys how to do it on here. So first thing you're going to want to make sure is that your Grand Theft Auto for PlayStation 5 is completely closed. Once it's closed, go to your settings, then go to network, then go down to settings, then go up to set up internet connection, then go to the internet that's connected to your PlayStation and then click the options button and click advanced settings. From here, scroll down to MTU settings, click that, and then click right here where it says manual, then go down to the MTU. It's going to say 1500, just erase it and then put it to 800 just like I do here. But yeah, once your internet is successfully connected, now you can go ahead and launch up your Grand Theft Auto for PlayStation 5. And once you guys load it up, here's the catch. You don't want to go straight into story mode. What you want to do is click right there where it says join free mode. Now, it's going to take a little bit longer because keep in mind, our MTU settings are way lower than it's supposed to be. So your internet is a little bit slower. And I also want you guys to be aware that sometimes when you're loading into online, it's going to give you an error alert and you're not going to load into online. That's completely fine. All you have to do is just accept the error alert and then join back into free mode like you did before and just keep doing that multiple times until you don't get the error alert trust me you might get that error alert a couple times but it's completely fine because eventually you'll load into a solo public session you guys can see right here though i am in a solo public session after a couple times after getting that error alert so it does indeed work you just have to try it a couple times but that's now going to be the end of today's video now you guys know how to do the solo public session glitch for the next gen version of gta 5 online on xbox series x s and also playstation 5 i hope this video Video helped you guys out if it did help you guys out make sure you guys do me that favor of dropping a like on the video and if you guys aren't subscribed already to my youtube channel definitely make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because i do upload lots of daily gta 5 online videos just like this one but that's gonna be it for today hope you guys did go on to enjoy and i will see you guys in my next video peace